If you're watching this video, then you've probably realized that there is no way to bulk import 301 redirects into Webflow. They actually expect you to do it one by one by putting in the old path, the new path, and then hitting the add redirect button. If you've got hundreds of redirects, then obviously this is just not an option. It's just going to take too long. There has to be a better way, right? And luckily there is a better way. It's a bit of a hack but it's a script that some people are using. Uh, someone kindly posted it on the Webflow forums, actually. Their name is Jan Kanerva. So all credit goes to them. They created the script. I'm just going to show you how you can use it. You don't need to know how to code. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it with normal tools um, like text edit or notepad on Windows and um, Google Sheets or Excel. So firstly, let me show you how this script actually works. All you need to do is copy this and paste it into the Google Chrome console where you can run any kind of JavaScript. Okay. And you do this on the actual page inside Webflow where you would set up 301 redirects. To open the console, all you need to do is right click and then click inspect anywhere on the page. And then you'll see elements here and we're just going to switch to the console tab. So here's where you can run JavaScript. You can just write anything here and, and run it. And we're just going to paste that script into there. And then we're going to press enter. Now, when I press enter, you'll see that a few redirects are going to be added, specifically these ones in the list. Let's hit enter. And there you'll see them appearing immediately. Okay. There, all four. That's how it works. And all you need to do is actually replace this list of redirects with your own redirects, right? So let's take a closer look at this script. What you need to do is get your old path into here and get your new path into here. And if you were to do this one by one, it's almost the same as doing it in Webflow, right? Uh, it would still take a long time to actually paste into each line here. Uh, we need to do that in bulk somehow. And so the way I've done it, is using Google Sheets. I actually saw another YouTube tutorial showing how to use this script, but they were using Parabola, uh, which is an automation tool similar to Zapier. I think that's overly complex and you can really just do it in Google Sheets or Excel because all you need to do is get your old URLs and get your new URLs. And then you need to put both of these into this kind of structure. So let me show you how to do that. I'm just going to clear out everything that I've already done. But as you can see, I've already combined both of these columns into here. I'm just going to show you how to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this format and simply paste it in here. Okay. Uh, now, what do we want? We want to replace this old URL with what is in column A and we want to replace the new URL with the data in column B. So we're going to go into here and we're going to put an equal sign and then quotation marks. Okay. Around that. So that says that this is plain text. Okay. This, this equal sign means do something dynamic. It means do something special, but then the quotes mean it's just plain text. So don't do anything special. So we're going to put quotes around all the parts that we don't want to be changed. So we're going to put quotes around this first part. Then this we want to be dynamic. We're going to be changing that. So end the quote here. Start a new one. End the quote before the next dynamic part, like so. And all we're going to do here is we want the value of cell A2, right? So we're going to write a two. And here we want the value of cell B two. So we're going to write B two. Okay. And is that going to work straight away? No, it's not. Because you can't just add an actual data value here, an actual cell value here without joining it to the stuff before it. So what we're going to do is join it with the and sign and that kind of just, yeah, it just kind of combines all of this into one output. Okay, so that's all there is to it. Now, if we hit enter, you can see that we've got 
source its products and target suppliers. So that's my new uh, old URL and that's my new URL. And then it's even suggesting to autofill this for the rest of the rows. I'm going to say yes. But even if I didn't, what you can do is just copy and then select all the rows and paste. And it will intelligently uh, apply that formula that we wrote across all the rows. So now all you need to do is highlight all of this again and copy. And then you can paste it back in to your wherever you've got your script. Okay, so that's it. And then you copy your script and paste it back into your console. Press enter and it will add all of these redirects as you can see I've already done it. Um, but yeah, that's all there is to it. I hope that helps. Uh, you will find this script template in the description to this video. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment and I'll try to help you out. Good luck.